Hello everyone, how are you going? This is Eddie the Magic Monk continuing with another Construct 2 tutorial. So last lesson we got up to creating a meteoroid running around on the screen. However, right now there are no there is no interaction between the meteoroid and your plane. So we want to create some interaction. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is make it so that um, when the bullet touches the meteoroid, the meteoroid destroys. Okay, so we're going to add an event and we're going to make it so that when the bullet uh, is colliding with the meteoroid, um, the meteoroid is going to destroy. The meteoroid is going to destroy. Okay, so let's test that out. So run the program, and then if I touch the meteoroid, the meteoroid is gone. Okay, so that's pretty cool, but it's a little bit easy because if you have a look, right, I can just create a line with the. Oops. I can create a line with the bullets by just continuously shooting like that. And when the meteoroid flies around, it's going to pass through this line sooner or later. So it's a little bit too easy. So what I want to do is I want to limit the number of bullets that are allowed on the screen at any point in time. So I don't want six or seven bullets flying around on the screen. So what I'm what I'm going to do is create what's called a global variable. So uh, right click on somewhere on the on the event sheet and then go to add and go to global add global variable. Okay, so what a global variable is is basically a container for a number. Okay, and a variable has a name, so you can refer to this container using its name. So let's call this container, let's call this global variable uh, the number of bullets on screen. All right, bullets on screen. And the initial value is zero because initially, initially, if you run the game, there are no bullets on the screen initially. So this variable records how many bullets I have on the screen. So let's move that to the top. Okay, so see that black line at the top? Drag it to that black line. Okay, at the top. Global number bullets on screen. Okay, and um, when you shoot the space bar, I'm going to add an action and I'm going to go to system, set value, bullets on screen, I'm going to set it to 1 and click done. So what happens is when I press the space bar, it's going to change this bullets on screen variable from 0 to 1 and what I also want to do is that I only want it to shoot the bullet when the variable is equal to zero. When the container has the number zero, I will allow the spaceship to shoot a bullet. Otherwise, I don't want it to shoot a bullet at all. So let's right click on in the gray space just below event two and go to add, add another condition. And the condition is go into system, compare variable, the other condition is when the bullet on screen variable is equal to zero, click done. So what that means is both of these conditions have to be true in order for the, our airplane to shoot a bullet. So if I run the layout now, it's going to shoot the bullet once and it won't let me shoot any more bullets when I press the space bar. Okay, now what I want to do is I want it so that after the bullet is destroyed, 
right so when event number four doesn't do anything so I'm gonna delete event number four so when the sprite when the bullet touches the wall the bullet destroys and I'm also going to set the bullets on screen variable back to zero okay so what's gonna happen is initially I press the space bar the bullet on screen variable is equal to zero so it's gonna let me shoot the bullet the bullet is going to then um, touch the wall and I'm going to set the bullet on screen variable back to zero and then it'll let me shoot another bullet so let's test that out so if I shoot a bullet it's gone I can shoot another one but if I keep pressing it okay if I keep pressing it it's not going to let me shoot another one until the first one is out of the out of the screen so then I need to become a little bit better at timing the bullet okay I'm also gonna slow down the bullet a little bit so go to layout one and click your sprite click your sprite and I want to um, actually the sprite is in the gameplay layer so we have to unlock that go to the gameplay layer click your sprite and um, I'm just going to slow it down a little bit so change the speed back to let's say a thousand just slow it down a little bit so let's run it again so when I press the space bar it shoots like this so I need to time the bullet a little bit better so it touches the asteroid alright okay now we have another problem the asteroid is gone so I have nothing to do okay in the next video I'm gonna show you how to make the asteroid uh, regenerate every few seconds. Okay, thanks for watching guys, see you next time.